I am now joined by ASTS President Will Chapman. Thank you so much for joining me today, Doctor. Thank you, Rachel. It's a pleasure to be here. Absolutely. So as your presidency comes to an end, can you tell us some of the challenges that the industry has faced and the society itself? We have a lot of challenges and we have a lot of opportunities. Transplantation has moved in a kind of rapid pace the last few years. So uh, for us as transplant surgeons, um, we have many new technologies like machine perfusion like normothermic regional perfusion that have really just been introduced in, in the last couple of years. Uh, how these will get incorporated into our um, everyday clinical use uh, is something we work to uh, improve on. And uh, what are we looking for? We're looking for uh, helping more patients to be transplanted, those in need. We have significant wait list disparities, and we're looking for improved results, especially in some uh, areas like cardiac death donors. Um, so our society of surgeons focuses a lot on these uh, transplant surgical related areas, um, but we also focus a lot on uh, other things like uh, new policy changes. We've got uh, broad sharing underway. Um, uh, we've got to work to see how those components factor into our day-to-day -day practice. So uh, I would say these are all the main uh, areas that ASTS has been focused on. Wow, that's amazing. Yeah, it sounds like there's been a lot of innovation throughout the past few years. So what would you say have been some of your greatest accomplishments as being president of ASTS? First and foremost, ASTS is a big organization with many talented people in leadership roles. So, you know, we have over 25 committees uh, doing outstanding work in various areas. So, you know, a big part of the role of the position is maintaining coordination between various um, groups in the organization. Uh, there have been a few areas that uh, I guess I would say I've personally been more focused on. Um, one is uh, has been establishment of a transplant oncology task force. So transplantation for malignancy is something that primarily liver cancer is something that uh, has been in place, but is really increasing recently. So this year we established that task force. Uh, we have a registry now in place. Uh, we wanna see uh, all transplanted patients with uh, certain malignancies uh, on that registry. So that's been one specific uh, area of focus. A second is uh, an OPO strike force that we've put in place. Um, that is uh, made up of individuals with special OPO expertise and uh, surgeons with um, more transplant focused expertise. And the goal of the OPO strike force is to help uh, work out some of the challenges we have with logistics, uh, especially under broad sharing, which has been a big challenge for all of our uh, organ group. So those have been two big initiatives. A third, uh, we have um, NISQIP uh, transplant ready to come online. So this will utilize uh, NISQIP as uh, uh, outcomes metrics um, uh, assessment group uh, that's administered through the American College of Surgeons. We want this in place for transplant centers uh, and so right now we're working to uh, enroll, uh, we want 50 centers involved. So that's kind of the third, uh, I would say, new initiative that we're getting underway. Wow, that's amazing. It sounds like there's a lot to come for ASTS. And lastly, uh, what is the significance of ATC itself and how the two societies come together to really create something bigger than themselves? AST and ASTS are great um, sister organizations. We have a lot of mutual um, objectives that we share. 
and uh, there's great collaboration between the two societies. There are some uh, areas where uh, surgical um, issues are predominant, and you know we tend to take those on a little more. There's some areas where uh, things like immunosuppression, medical comp ma management of complications, et cetera, that the AST has more expertise. We have a lot of overlap. Um, we uh, jointly own the American Journal of Transplantation. And so this is a, 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 a big area uh, for us jointly. This meeting combines the best science from both organizations, both our organizational members. So having a time of the year that we both come together for, for our individual society interests, but also for our overlapping scientific interests is a uh, great opportunity. And so we always uh, really stress and, and enjoy this meeting. Yeah, that's amazing to see so many talented individuals come together to collaborate. Well, thank you so much for your time, doctor. Really appreciate it. Thank you, Rachel. Have a good day. Thank you, too.